For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the zero of exponential functions and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say zero of exponential function, it is the value of the independent variable x that will make the function equal to zero. And in graph, it is the x-coordinate of the point intersecting the x-axis. So these are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to understand and to find the zero of exponential function. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number 1, f of x equals 3 raised to 4x minus 1 minus 1. To find the zero of the given function, the first step that we are going to do is to equate the function equal to zero. So let us have zero equals 3 raised to 4x minus 1 minus 1. And then let us solve for x. Let us move negative 1 on the side of 0. It will give us 1 equals 3 raised to 4x minus 1. To find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us change 1 as 3 raised to 0 because 3 raised to 0 is 1. So let us have 1, that is 3 raised to 0, equals 3 raised to 4x minus 1. So let us cancel the base. And let us have 4x minus 1 equal to 0. Let us move negative 1 on the side of 0. It will give us 4x equals 1. Let us divide both sides by 4. Let us cancel this one. So x is 1 fourth. So the 0 of f of x is 1 fourth. That means the graph touches the x-axis at x equals 1 fourth. On example number 2, f of x equals 5 raised to x. To find the zero of the given function, let us equate the function equal to zero. So let us have 5 raised to x equal to zero. And then, let us think a number that will make the function equal to zero. So let's say for example, x is equal to negative 1. So let us have 5 raised to negative 1 equal to zero. 5 raised to negative 1 is 1 over 5, which is not equal to 0. So the value of x is not equal to negative 1. And let's say x is equal to 0. So let us have 5 raised to 0 equals to 0. 5 raised to 0 is 1, which is not equal to 0. That means x is not equal to 0. And then, let's say x equals 1. Let's have 5 raised to 1 equal to 0. 5 raised to 1 is 5 not equal to 0. That means the value of x is not equal to 1. Since there is no number that will make our function equal to 0, therefore, no 0 for f of x and this will be our answer that means no part of the graph touches the x-axis on example number three f of x equals 27 raised to x minus 3 to find the zero of the given function let us equate the function equal to zero so let us have zero equals 27 raised to x minus 3 and then let us solve for x let us move negative 3 on the side of 0. It will give us 3 equals 27 raised to x. To find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us change 27 as 3 raised to 3. Because if you are going to multiply 3, 3 times to itself, it will give us 27. And let us write 3 as 3 raised to 1 equals 27, that is 3 raised to 3, raised to x. So let us write 3 raised to 1 equals 3. And let us multiply 3 and x, that is 3x. So let us cancel the base and let us have 3x equals 1. Let us divide both sides by 3. Let us cancel this one. So the value of x is 1 third. So the zero of f of x is one third. That means the graph touches the x-axis at x equals one third. 
On example number 4, f of x equals 3 over 5 raised to x plus 1 minus 25 over 9. To find the zero of the given function, let us equate the function equal to zero. So let us have zero equals 3 over 5 raised to x plus 1 minus 25 over 9. And then let us solve for x. Let us move negative 25 over 9 on the side of zero. It will give us 25 over 9 equals 3 over 5 raised to x plus 1. To find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us change 25 as 5 squared because 5 multiplied by itself is 25. And let us change 9 as 3 squared. That is 3 multiplied by itself is 9. So let us have 25. That is 5 squared. And then let us have 9. That is 3 squared. And then we have 3 over 5 raised to x plus 1. Since 3 is written in the numerator and 5 is written in the denominator, let us write 5 squared in the denominator and 3 squared in the numerator. So let us have 3 raised to negative 2 over 5 raised to negative 2 equals 3 over 5 raised to x plus 1. Since we have the same exponent, let us write this one as 3 over 5 raised to negative 2 equals 3 over 5 raised to x plus 1. Since we have the same base, let us cancel the base and let us have x plus 1 equals negative 2. To solve for x, let us move 1 on the side of negative 2. It will give us x equals negative 2 minus 1. So x is equal to negative 2 minus 1, that is negative 3. So the 0 of f of x is negative 3. That means the graph touches the x-axis at x equals negative 3. On example number 5, f of x equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3 minus 1 over 625 raised to x plus 2. To find the 0 of the given function, let us equate the function equal to 0. So let us have 0 equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3 minus 1 over 625 raised to x plus 2. And then let us solve for x. Let us move this one on the side of 0. It will give us 1 over 625 raised to x plus 2 equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3. To find the value of x, we must have the same base. So let us change 625 as 5 raised to 4. Because 5 multiply 4 times to itself, it will give us 625. And since 625 is written in the denominator, we are going to have 1 over 5 raised to 4. And if we are going to write this one in the numerator, it will give us 5 raised to negative 4. So let us change 1 over 625 as 5 raised to negative 4 raised to x plus 2 equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3. So let us have 5 and then negative 4 multiplied by x is negative 4x. Negative 4 multiplied by 2, that is negative 8, equals 5 raised to 2x minus 3. And since we have the same base, let us cancel the base and let us have 2x minus 3 equals negative 4x minus 8. So to find the value of x, let us move negative 3 on the other side of equation and let us move negative 4x on the side of 2x minus 3. So let us have 2x plus 4x equals negative 8 plus 3. And to simplify, let us have 2x plus 4x, that is 6x, and negative 8 plus 3, that is negative 5. Let us divide both sides by 6. 
Let us cancel this one. So, x is equal to negative 5 over 6. So, the 0 of f of x is negative 5 over 6. That means the graph touches the x-axis at x equals negative 5 over 6. So, I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.